Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Phone rings off the hook sometimes. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Who gets loans at a pawn shop, anyway? What's really going on at this place? The Crooked Man knows what people need to get by, so he provides. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Hey, hey! Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You gotta understand, I needed work. 
Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'll be honest and say I have no idea what I picked last time. I feel like I've done both. And that's kind of where I'm confused. So, I don't know if maybe I did one and then restarted and did the other or not, but for whatever reason, I feel like I've done both. But between the two, I think my first choice might have been the butcher shop, since, you know, that's where he said, hey, don't go to the Lucky Pond, you'll get us in trouble. So I think I went to the butcher shop first. So if that's the case, I'll try Lucky Pond. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Pretty sure he says that regardless of what you pick. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? <gasps> no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I just didn't want to make any promises and say, yeah, I'll get rid of your debt, and then Snow be a bitch and be like, no. It's so. dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. Hey. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? Whoa. Big B's here. No. Oh. This is a surprise. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you <laughs> left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? 
Yes, I think the off-sited statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crook, <laughs> right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Oh, I thought it actually would work. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. He really grows on you. Look, I told you I work here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's <laughs> bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. Where's the manager? Why isn't he here? Maybe I'm the manager. You ever think of that? I know you aren't. So where is he? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on him. He's probably out getting shit-faced and eating cows right now. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh... I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Okay, so yeah, I definitely went to the butcher shop the first time, because I don't remember any of this. I remember a different cutscene, which now makes me curious. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so uh, who cares, really? How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day, and even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you?
You, and Grin, and Toad, you're all better off than you think. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Eh, it's the best answer I could come up with. Anvil! What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. Haven't seen him around for a while. Look at all the cool stuff. Isn't this from Crane's apartment? What? Maybe? I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. <laughs> Dead doesn't say much. Yeah, but see, I thought I still had money because I was gonna. No, I do still have money. Yeah, I was gonna give that to Toad. Thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh. You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Big Me. That wasn't. Jack was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so. Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, <laughs> for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just it's gonna... It's my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grin said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is are his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you. I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where- Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna yeah. rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't oh, I wanted to, to hold him. Upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park? <laughs> That's it? You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like it went. You fucking mop! Oh, oh, fucker! Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is 
my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Hit left. Down. I hit down. X. Definitely hit X. and forks of tree roots behind the sun in the <coughs> shadows that's not good enough oh, the door to his house it bounces around never in one spot you'll never find it even crane had to use the magic mirror that fucking guy <laughs> oh mirror mirror Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. Or I'll come back here and finish the job. <sighs> you got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. 
that's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. Oh shit, I thought that meant let him get in the cab. Oh damn it. I was gonna say thanks. Oops. I, I didn't realize there was brackets. I thought he was going to say, Hey, Woody, get in the cab. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, that was dumb. Okay, but yeah, see, that's one of the reasons why, like, I can sympathize with Woody is because he comes back at that point, and he's such a likable character, and he does so good, and it's awesome, and I love it. So, that's my two cents on Woody. I really like him. I also love the interpretation they did with Jersey Devil. I think it's, um... Yet again, incredibly interesting. It kind of looks like a Stan Lee at first, and like the way they do his voice is great. The transformation is great. I just I think he's really really cool. So I love what they did with some of those uh, horror story characters. Also, just love the idea that they included him into it because you know that's not like neither one of them two would have been my first thought for a character in this game, but the idea that they did is super cool. So I really like it. <laughs> 